Hey what's up guys in this video we are going to talk about CSS padding. So the padding is used to create space around the content of one element and inside the border. Like an example we have the content of the element now outside of the content we have the padding and the padding is located inside the border of the element. So we can use the padding to create space between the border and the content of the element. So now we are going to see how we can create padding around the content of the element. So first of all I am going to select the h1 element and then I am going to create the border 1 pixel solid red. Now we can use the individual padding property and we can set padding for all the sides of the element. Like in example we can write padding top and we can set the padding to the top of the element. So padding can be 20 pixel. So you can see there is space between the border and the content of the element. Similarly also we can write padding right and we can set padding for the right side of the element. And also we can have padding bottom and also we can have padding left. So this way we can set padding for all the individual side of the element. Now we can use the padding shorthand property and we can combine all of these individual property into one property. So we can use the padding shorthand property and we can set padding around the four sides of the element. So I'm gonna have 30 pixel for the top of the element, 20 pixel for the right of the element, 40 pixel for the bottom of the element and 50 pixel for the left side of the element. So this way we can specify four parameters to set the padding for the top of the element, right side of the element, bottom of the element and the left side of the element. And also we can specify just two parameter. Now the first parameter will be applied to the top of the element and the bottom of the element. And the second parameter will be applied to the right of the element and the left side of the element. And whenever we specify just one parameter, then this one parameter will be applied to the four sides of the element. So this is the way we can add padding to one element to create space between the border and the content of the element. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.